Hello, my name is Stephanie and I have a YouTube channel called Steph's Romance Book Talk and I love music. I love music and I love it even more when it is entered into my romances. So let's talk about some fun romances that also deal with music. Alrighty, so I got the chance to read a, a blues singer to redeem him by Ellie Jackson. And this is a historical romance. I really enjoyed it. It gave a wonderful, heart-wrenching look into the jazz world. Uh, this jazz singer is involved and has connections to the Tulsa Massacre it, as it's being a historical romance. Um, so you get a little bit of history, a lesson for the Tulsa uh, Massacre, as well as a jazz singer trying to walk the fine line of being a black woman in Missouri during that time. She's moved from Tulsa to uh, Missouri and is trying to sort of embed herself into the jazz world, get up and going. She has a great voice and there is a jazz club in which the owner is has some some ties to the mob, I guess you could say, for back then. Um, and it takes a look even more into the Jim Crow era of um, the area and interracial relationships and everything like that. And I really, really enjoyed it. It had a great balance of music and romance. And I think everyone should go check this one out as well if they want that little bit of history as well as a look into the jazz world. Next, we're going to talk about uh, In Harmony by J.N. Welsh. And this tells a story of a EDM or electronic, electronic dance music scene and a person, a woman that is trying to, uh, I guess you could say balance once again, her two lives. She has a classical life where she plays jazz bass in a philharmonic, as well as, uh, she has sort of this undercover, uh, feel to her where she's doing the DJing. She has a tie to the music world already because her father is a DJ, a really, really famous DJ. And she's trying to get from behind the, um, the sort of cloud that is over her because the first time she tried to perform, it was with her father and she kind of froze. So now that she knows what she wants and how she wants to do it, she is doing that in the EDM world and she has a following, but she also wants to keep her anonymity and her ties to her father sort of a secret. And you get to see how her and this producer that uh, becomes her sort of manager as well, romance each other in this fine balance of classical and uh, electronic music. Next, I'm going to talk about Twin Games in Music City by Jules Bennett. And this is a Harlequin Desire line. So you know that there's going to be a little bit of spice when it comes to this book. I really enjoyed it. It does have a play on twins, uh, but there is, it's a wholesome play because one is the country music star and one is the manager and they need to uh, interview this new producer and they do a switch. So the actual singer goes to see the producer posing as her sister, who is the manager, and he doesn't fall for it. And it's the two of them sort of working through, do we want to cross that line of producer and artist, or do we want to just keep our uh, feelings away from the world and not have anyone else pry? Um, and I really enjoy that aspect. I enjoyed the aspect that it's set close enough to Nashville that it wasn't completely Nashville. It was a sort of small town off offshoot from Nashville and gave, if you've ever watched the television show Nashville, it gave those vibes and I was here for it. I loved every single minute of it. And I think if you like the television show Nashville, you're going to enjoy this book as well. Um, next, we're going to talk about all the best nights by henna i believe it's henna 
Ernest, and I believe this is her debut novel. Maybe, maybe not, but I really enjoyed it. It's a contemporary. It has uh, two rock stars. Well, one's a rock star who just left his band and has some personal things going on, and then the other is a pop star, and she just wants to sort of have her private life her private life. And um, if you like the drama that goes along with celebrities keeping secret, you're going to love this one because there is a secret marriage that ends up happening. And the marriage ends up happening for a long time before anyone decides to find out what's going on. There is a little bit of a suspense that goes into it as well of the, will we be found out? There's quite a bit of sexiness to the story. And if you like the steam and like the uh, sexiness, of a romance novel, you're definitely going to find that here. I found it to be super enjoyable. It was very just, in, it was addicting and drugged me into uh, the world that these two artists were in. One couldn't find their words and the other was the muse and back and forth. They had a sort of on-air feud going and I really, really enjoyed this book. Next, I'm going to talk about The Girl with Stars in Her Eyes by Zio Axelrod, and I absolutely loved and devoured this book. It is about a uh, female guitarist that shreds. She knows how to work her instrument, and she's trying to make it big, but there are some things and in the industry that is getting in her way. She ends up getting a chance to play backup for a up and coming girl group and they enjoy her uh, sound and the way that she shreds. She also finds out that someone from her past is also tied to that band already and she doesn't know where exactly she wants to take it. She knows she doesn't want to cross the line because of the industry uh, that she's in and how hard it is for female guitarists to really get a name for, their, for themselves and there's a lot of history that's told in this and I really really enjoyed the banter between uh and second chance sort of love story of this but mostly I loved the band the girl band aspect of this you get a really really good look at the music industry throughout this book and that is a t that is because the author is connected to the music world and uh it's such a good and fun story. It's amazing on audiobooks. So if you like to listen to audiobooks, I would definitely say pick this one up as an audiobook. And I am going to talk about a series now, and they are all written by different authors. Uh, it's the Hush Note series. And the first book in the series is Lies and Lullabies by Serena Bowen. And this tells the story of the lead uh, singer. For the story there he's off he takes a break they're on their break and he comes to well come to find out uh the first time he took this retreat to this cabin um he uh actually had a bit of a fling with one of the people from the town and then come to find out there may have been a conception that ended up happening through uh, through that first time. And now that he's back there again, taking a break from the road and sort of unwinding, he finds out that he might, may or may not have a child and uh, that that woman may or may not have been the muse for some of his writings and music that he had produced. Then you can go move on to Riffs and Refrain by Devney Perry. And this is about the drummer and it happens to be a female drummer. She ends up having to go back to her hometown where she finds out that uh, the family that she has made with the group is so much stronger and she has to deal with some of the riffs that she had in her blood family as well as see an old flame that uh, probably was her first love and they possibly get a second chance within the story. And then finally, the last person in the group that you're going to read about is the guitarist. And this is Muse and Melodies by Rebecca Yaros. This book is a little look into what made this character so dark. There's an addiction that ends up happening um, and how it's being kind of worked out and fought and then 
um, wow, I don't want to give too many spoilers for this one, um, but it is a very beautiful book, and the guitarist has reasons for his darkness, and you find out throughout the story, and then you have a really, really strong PA that takes this guitarist into her world um, and shows him something different about himself. And I just really, really loved this story. So there's those. Alrighty. So I have just talked to you guys about some music and some romances that you guys should go check out. How do you like your music and romance? Do you like to have it as a playlist within the stories? A lot of the stories that I just talked about have playlists to go along with them. So make sure you go check those out as well. Or do you just like to have a romantic setting within your rock stars. Are you a rock star lover? Because I am a rock star lover. I love that whole aspect of it. And I hope that you enjoyed the recommendations that I just provided for you. Let me know down in the comment section uh, what your favorite combination is. If it's rock, if it's pop, if it's country, if it's classical or historical. Um, and if you want to know any more about romance, Make sure that you're checking out the Harlequin channel and everyone here. Make sure you give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and we will see you guys in another video.